Welcome back to the channel. The last video we did was on our casking reel that we're giving away and we've had really good response to that. So thanks to everybody that's uh, commented on that and subscribed. And we've got about three or four more days to go on that and then we'll be announcing a winner. So stay tuned to the channel for that. So we're trying to, you know, trying to get some videos out for you guys, some content until we can get on the water. And one of the things that I've noticed quite a few videos on YouTube lately by guys is their top three rods, top four rods, top five rods. And I feel like all of those are really bass oriented, bass fishing oriented. And that could be because of the channels I watch, but I felt like I wanted to do a video on the, on top four rods for you guys out there that just fish for fun. You don't necessarily go bass fishing. You don't necessarily go pike fishing. You don't necessarily go pan fishing. You just go fishing. And whether you're in a boat, kayak, canoe, fishing from the shore, which I did a lot when, in my younger days. These are my four general purpose rods that I think you guys can use regardless of what you're fishing for and regardless of what you're fishing from. So let's get into that. So guys, one thing you'll notice when we go through the rods is that they're all casking rods and reels. And I want to let you guys know that I've got a really good friend who's sponsored by casking and he turned me on to them. He gave me a rod and a reel, probably I don't know, two or three years ago to try when I was fishing with him. I was pretty impressed with it, so I started checking it out online. And I've come to be very fond of their rods. And I just recently started, probably in the last two years, starting to use their reels. Rest assured, I use Shimano, Abu Garcia. I've got quite a few Lou's bait casting reels. I like their reels. And I've had a lot of different rods over the years. I've used Bass Pro brand. I've had uh, Shimano rods, uh, Berkeley. I, I mean, I've run the gamut on different rods. So the specs that I'm going to give you on these rods, they're duplicated by other rod manufacturers. I'll put the links in the description of the casking rods and you can go out and at least get the, the power, the length and the action on the rod. And then you can go do your research on any types of rods you want. So let's get started with one of the bait casters. And I think even if you were gonna, if somebody said one rod from a bait caster standpoint, this would be the rod that I would recommend. And this happens to be a Speed Demon Pro by Casking, but what it is, is it's a Speed Demon Pro Casking Jiggy Worm Rod. It's a seven foot three medium fast action rod. And with this particular rod, this length, you can make really nice casts. So if you're fishing from the shoreline with seven foot three, you can really get nice action on that. For nice long casts. It has a medium action on it so it's not going to be so heavy that you can't throw I would say medium probably even like a I would say like a quarter ounce up to all the way up to a three quarter ounce type baits you could throw with this rod and again if you only have this one rod you can throw crankbaits with it you can throw tubes like I have on here now you can throw jigs, you can throw a shaky head. You could just do a number of things with this rod. So would be my number one bait casting rod to recommend to you guys. And you, I would spool this up with anything from 12 up to 17 pound test line, depending on what you're fishing for. My second bait casting rod to add to that, Speed Demon, another casting rod, but again, it's their seven foot three and again, I really like that length, guys. Seven foot three seems to be a good length. Um, so anything seven to seven three, depending on the, the who's making the rod. I'm six three, so I like a little bit longer rods. But even if you're not as tall physically, longer rods are nice just to help you get longer casts. Um, and again, this is their chatterbait rod. So this is a seven foot three medium also power, but it's a moderate fast. So it's got a little bit more tip in it. And what's nice about this is it's specifically not designed for chatterbaits, but you get more, there's more parabolic bend in it. And I don't know if I can see that, but you can see where the bend comes further down in the base of the rod. And what that does is it helps load up when you use a chatterbait or crankbait or something like that um, so that it helps fight that fish. I, you can throw the chatterbaits on it. You could throw a medium sized crankbaits swim baits, that type of stuff. It's designed 
for baits that are a quarter ounce to three quarter ounce and that's pretty much standard for a medium type rod so again this would be my second choice for you guys and the main difference between this and that first rod i showed you is is just the one is fast and one's medium fast so this one's going to have the parabolic bend come back into the rod more to help load up and fight fish if you're going to throw this with like a chatterbait this would be a great rod to put 15 pound test on it fluorocarbon um, would would be my recommendation for a line. Those would be my two bait casting outfits for you guys to get started. And again, either one or the other would probably be awesome if you just have one rod. And now let's get into the spinning rods. And I know spinning rods, um, people have different opinions about them. It seems like it's a love-hate relationship. And I actually love them. I think they're great, especially when you take people out in the boat and they don't know how to use a bait caster as well. And if you learn how to use these, and that'd be a great video, we'll do that on how to control your line when you're casting with a, with a spinning reel. But you can control your cast with these just as well as you can as, as a bait caster, especially when you're, when you're beginning. So if I was just going to start out with a spinning rod, this again is another Cast King product that's in their Speed Demon Pro lineup, but this is a seven foot shaky head rod and this is a moderate fast medium light power and what i like about this one is is again it's a medium light fast so you can see how that does that parabolic bend doesn't go as far back into the rod so it's about four maybe about five or six eyes back this gives you a nice power in the backbone and what's nice about this again it's made for a shaky head it's awesome for fishing that but this, this is probably one of the most versatile rods there is, in my opinion, in that weight and that tip. I'm actually, the last time I was out in open water, I was throwing an Ed rig with it. You can throw micro jigs with it. You can throw, if you watched my video about my top five or six smallmouth baits, almost every one of those baits in that video, you could throw with this rod. And the way I rig it up is with eight to 12 pound braid, Casking makes some awesome braided products. They make four, eight, and 13 strand. This particular spinning rod, and I've actually started using it on all my spinning rods, is their 13X product. It's a 13 strand. And I like using their 10 pound braid. And then I'll use anything from a six pound up to about a 10 pound leader. 90% of the time I'm using an eight pound leader on that braid. But you could also spool this up with straight fluorocarbon if you'd like, or you can put mono on it. I really like the braid to fluorocarbon leader. There's a lot of videos out there on that setup, but bottom line, it's sensitivity and castability. The braid really flies off of the spinning rod. All right. Okay, so my final rod would be, again, it's another Casking product. It's a seven foot three jig worm rod, and this is a medium power fast action. So. The other one was medium light. This one's medium, so a little bit stiffer rod. This is an awesome rod for throwing, again, you could throw micro jigs with this, a little bit heavier Texas rig. You could throw a shaky head with this. You could even throw a little bit like a small to medium sized swim baits with this. Just a super all around rod. And when it comes to species, other species fishing, you know, these two spinning rods, the other one I showed you in this one, I mean, this is a great walleye rod for you guys up north. The other rod would be great for panfish, crappies, maybe a little bit heavy for bluegill fishing, but you could get away with it. You definitely could use it for, for crappie fishing. Um, and you could use that for walleye fishing as well. So those are the four rods that I think, you know, if I was going to say, if I was going to set somebody up and they said, let's get four rods, that's what I would do. I'd do two bait casters and a couple of spinning reels. So guys, that kind of wraps it up. I know that I, you know, I talked about bass lures a lot when I, when I was talking about those. But again, a seven foot three length is a really good length for a rod. And then again, if you're not going to get into the extremes, stick to that medium, medium heavy weight of the rod and in that fast to uh, medium fast action tip. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys aren't getting too frustrated. 
or as frustrated as we are about getting on the water. But trust me, it's going to happen, and we're going to get you guys some on-the-water video coming soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time. <music>